surprisingly enough, I haven't cut my thumb yet. My technique. I roll my hand like this, so really, as long as I keep my thumb straight out, I, I won't ever hit it because the knife won't go that far. That's how I'm, I'm kind of rolling the blade when I'm carving. I have cut my stub. He's gotten away a couple times. Kind of hard that way. Just flip it over. And this way with it. Blades. These things, you, they don't sharpen very well. I've tried to sharpen them on my stone, but they don't seem to. Uh, this doesn't seem to work out whenever I try to do it. The blades are cheap enough to just buy replacement blades. But I don't deal with the headache. Since I can't, I can't ever get the right edge on it. I believe they're supposed, they're supposed to be disposable anyway. So. Another reason I'd like to get a set of flex cuts. They're um, meant to be sharpened. So I think these are made out of a little harder steel than the flex cuts are. Which, I mean, they do hold their edge for a long time. I've done a lot of carving with this one blade. Usually, when I can't, if I can't smooth it, because if it's dull. I will be able to just kind of smooth the little pieces off, like you see them little pieces there, while well, the fan's kind of blowing away pretty quick. You get the point where it's like it's just kind of digging in more and not getting them little raised parts off, then you know it's pretty dull. There's like a side profile his hair sticks out. I might make his hair stick out a little more. We'll see. I think I'm just about ready to start sanding. I'll try to clean this up around this mouth a little bit. Gouged it right there pretty good. Soft. Any suggestions and comments are welcome. This, so I'm still learning. Anybody's got any ideas on like um, any good sites for like Exacto or just carving stuff? Leave it in the comment box below. I'm always open for good advice. 
always improve. I'm going to be careful we're on the edge. I just nicked it right there. If you can tell right there on the edge. Crud. Man, I'm going to clear down too. We can fix that. I don't get too bent out of shape about anything. Take that edge off. <laughs> Not a problem. be getting a storm I can, I can smell the honeysuckle bushes the wind starting to blow a bunch of honeysuckle bushes and vines right behind our house so here it blows in through the fan quite pleasant really it's a sign of summer which I was waiting for ever gonna warm up. Get kinda warm and it get cold again. Ohio weather though. It's always been like that. Good old Ohio. Bipolar weather. It looks alright. Just missing that edge. Yeah. It'll look alright. Adapt, overcome, improvise.
a relief cut in here make it easier to not to go too far you know, just kind of take the tip and real easy just to market for a stationary disc belt sander combo. Got my band saw. mushroom seasons. Morels just ended and chanterelles haven't started yet. At the end of this month chanterelles should start popping up. We'll be posting some videos of mushroom hunting in. Some more anyway. I didn't get to go morel hunting this year. The, uh, my hoopty was broke down. Got two young girls in school, so priorities dictated that the car didn't get fixed <laughs> until we had the extra money. I'm a stay-at-home father, so I mean I don't really have a job to go to, per se, job. I mean I don't work, I mean I don't have a job title, I don't have to get up and go somewhere every morning. But it's still work. Two girls that are almost teenagers. It's a madhouse, man, I'm telling you. A madhouse. And I think I'm gonna cut off right there and give me something to drink and have a snack of some sort and see what I'm gonna do next, this is ready to be sanded. We'll see. That's what it looks like so far. I'll be sanding him, smoothing him all out, whatnot, in just a little bit. But, See how it works out. Later. <laughs> 